Today, we're going to show you how to print your own flexible packaging film with the Affinia FP230 Flexible Packaging Press. The FP230 works with inkjet printable films like the Artizio line from Zeal. Rolls of material are printed here on demand, then placed onto a packing line to achieve a range of fully functional packaging shapes and styles, such as the pillow bags shown in this example. First, we'll load the unwinder with a blank roll. This unwinder allows up to a 10-inch outside diameter roll. Maximum length will vary based on the material thickness. Load the media onto the mandrel. Place the outside disc on the top and tighten the knob. We'll place the mandrel on the unwinder, making sure it seats firmly. With the unwinder switched off, we'll then bring the material under the dancer arm. Flip this roller assembly latch up and out of the way. And line it up along the fixed media guide on the far side like so. To make sure the media is properly aligned and will feed straight, you can use the two pins and fixed edge, shown here. While holding the media in place, flip down the latch and position the adjustable guide to keep it from moving left to right. The unwinder can be switched on and we'll proceed to feeding the opposite side. We're going to thread the machine through the printer according to the diagram shown here. Advancing the media is easily done with a couple of taps on the touch screen. We'll send out a few feet of material at a time and weave it through to reach the rewinder mandrel. A blank core is slid into the rewinder and left to move freely for alignment. We'll pull evenly on the media, position the core, and lock it in place with the tension knob. Tape the media in place with even tension. Let's turn on the rewinder. Then secure the locking lever. Laminate is passed under the roller bar and affixed to the media. Don't worry about wrinkles or anything at this stage. We'll use the touch screen to advance the media a bit to smooth out our lamination. The FP230 will automatically begin to rewind as slack is created in the paper pad. Back to the printer now where we've stored our design file for easy reprinting. We'll access the design from the reprint menu and select best print quality for rich, vibrant colors. This is the optimal speed for best print quality, 6 inches per second. The FP230 is capable of speeds up to 12 inches per second. Other driver settings such as offsets can be affected here as well. We'll punch up 300 copies and send the job. After a quick pre-job conditioning of the print head, we'll let enough printed material advance to reach the rewinder and pause the print. Next, we'll position the slitting wheels. Loosen the lower thumb screw on each slitter and we'll slide it into position. Tighten to lock it in place and we'll bring the slitter wheel into contact with the material and set the blade pressure by tightening the upper thumb screw. Repeat this process on the other side. Resume the print and pause it again when the slit material has passed over the rewinder mandrel. We'll switch off the rewinder to remove tension and cut the material making sure to have at least a few inches of excess. Now we can remove this material and prepare the mandrel with three separated cores. The narrow outside cores will collect the trimmed side material. As before, we'll leave them loose enough to properly align them with the output material. Cinch down the mandrel and tape the material to the cores under even tension. That's it! We can now resume the job and our roll will be printed, laminated, and rewound for fill sealing machinery. Taking us from print to pack in just minutes. Thank you for watching this product demonstration for the Affinia FP230 Flexible Packaging Press. If you would like to learn more, visit us at affinialabel.com.
There, you can find more details or contact us to have a conversation with one of our packaging specialists.